All right, guys, got another video for you. It's, uh, I'm not actually going to be forging on this one, but one of the things that I wanted to do in this uh, in this ramp up to get restarted again is to, to be able to do furniture, um, a mixture of wood and uh, and metal. I, you know, you got to have that high end stuff in order to freaking pay the bills. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. So I want to I want to be able to mill up my own lumber, and I have access to some beams, and I know where to find some more. And I'm thinking some old barn beam. Benches, tables, end tables, whatever, um, mixed in with some with some uh, worked iron is a good idea. So, uh, as much as I didn't think I wanted to, and I actually let me tell you the story. Well, let me show you what I got first. <laughs> what I done did and bought was a little sawmill to add to my uh, repertoire of of useful tools, I guess. And the, the story is, that's Harbor Freight, of course, uh, $2,200, I think is what it was, and the coupon don't work on it, which sucks. But um, I ordered it, and I had it shipped here to the shop, and when Harbor Freight saw the address, they thought that uh, I had, you know, it was, a, it was a fraud order, so they canceled the order on me. And I called them and said, well, no, it was legitimate. And they said, well, it's too late, we can't send it back, we'll refund your money. And... When I did that, or after I called, it's like, you know, that's probably a good idea. I got too many other things, too many irons in the fire right now. Uh, let me go ahead and get ramped up and then make the money and then buy the thing. Um, so I was sitting there waiting for my refund and waiting, waiting and waiting, and it didn't show up. I was about ready to call and find out where, where it was, and I got a call from, uh, from a trucking company saying, hey, we got an order from Harbor Freight ready to deliver. So here I have a sawmill. So I put the thing together yesterday, it took me about four hours, um, almost alone, I had to help lifting the, the head up, but anyway, stay tuned, we'll, uh, I'm going to cut up the, one of these old beams, you know, an old beam sitting there, and uh, hey, you know, it isn't blacksmithing, but it's a little bit more than just hammering sometimes, so, actually there's a lot of stuff that goes into blacksmithing for crying out loud, it's the amount of time it takes to get the materials, the design, the, the, the contracts, just the extra work involved. So um, stay tuned. I think you might enjoy this.
There you have it. This one here is a little thick, but the rest of them are two inches. Yeah, it's only a half inch by the time we plane her down. So, who knows whether this is a stupid idea or not. But, it works. And this is not a bad looking log. And I haven't even dialed it in or, or fine tuned it yet. So, there you go. One more thing. So, expect to see some wood and iron here pretty soon. Take care. Catch you on the next one.